Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so this is Eduardo, and um, Eduardo, you are the first person I'm interviewing for the On Blast blog, and um, I wanted to ask you about your um, artistic process, and I wanted to ask you about, um, you've been doing that, you've been having this strategy in the last uh, few weeks about outsourcing your stuff. Yeah. And um, so, like, you've been giving uh, your work to other people to make decisions for you. And uh, so, how did that come about, and why did you, what made you think about outsourcing? Well, I mean, the first time I thought about outsourcing was along with my dad. His job almost got outsourced to, like, different countries, like, in India or China or something. And it kind of made me think about it. I was like, I kind of want to let people know, but I don't know how to do it. And so, in a way, I kind of started outsourcing myself. And I let people outsource my decisions. Like, when I made artwork like this... I took a whole bunch of pieces and I didn't want to make anything that no one else made. Like, I didn't feel like I don't want to copy someone. I don't want to look at their artwork and then accidentally make something off of, like, seeing their image. You didn't want to be influenced by other people. No. So I did. I want to do something completely random, random art, and try so, to make it beautiful. So that was part of the outsourcing, too, is, like, you want to be more random? Yeah, and I want to do what the kind of what the people kind of want, sort of way. So, so you, let, you want other people to like your work, or? No, I mean, I let them, I don't care if they like my work or not, I mean, it's it's my work, I'll like it if you don't, so. Yeah, yeah. But I did it so that I want people to make, like, choices, and kind of, I can make those choices into art. I can make everyone's choice into one piece. Uh-huh. It's kind of like unifying everyone in the class, almost. Oh, that's awesome. They, they all kind of collaborated with me. To make this. How many people did you talk to about this piece? One person for every piece. Oh. So basically. So each little uh, thing that you did, you... And how did that work? Like, what did you ask them? I asked them, what piece do you like? Do you like this piece, this piece, or this piece? Which piece... How do you... And then I had them take scissors. I had them take scissors, and I had them cut up each one of my pieces of artwork that I tried to throw away. Okay. That's awesome. So I didn't waste anything on this project, really. I kind of used every piece. This was on a whole different piece that I tried to do a background on, and I cut it up after work, afterward, and then... This right here? This was going to be a background? Yeah, this was this one was going to be a whole different background. And then I cut it up and made this. And then after that, this piece was the only piece I've never thrown away in a, in a project. I actually kept this piece throughout the whole thing, because I liked it, and it was just so... But it's like a cut up kind of. Oh wait, wait. Are, is there a particular piece you're talking about in that? Right here. Just oh, right that right part here. of it. Yeah, that's the part that you didn't throw away. So that uh, leads me to the question about you throwing stuff away, because I noticed like pretty much every piece you've made this year you've thrown away. So like, what's up with that? A lot of the pieces I just feel like I don't. I mean, I start making it and then I see it from a distance, like you said, and like look at it from a distance, see what you see. And I looked at it from a distance. I was like, I don't like this. I don't see. I hate this project. Uh-huh. And then I go out and I make a new piece, and it looks sort of similar to it, and then I trash it, and I try to learn from my mistakes. Okay. And I keep going okay. from there, and then if I like a piece and I throw it away, then it's just like, I know I could do something better. If I if I subconsciously just throw it away in my mind, I just had throw it away physically. You're, like, done with it. Yeah. Okay. And then go off into something else. Like, today I worked with making colors. Uh-huh. With, I, like, I tried to, uh, I started off with painting, and I made a... I think I was making I was making pink and purple out of red and black. Uh huh. I was just making those colors and I was splashing around everywhere, and then I started making a whole different piece of art, and then I noticed like I was painting on other papers that I had as like cover the paper uh, cover the table, and I was like oh I like this piece more so I'm gonna work on this one. Cool. I'll come back to this one, and I kept going back to pieces as I painted over them accidentally. Mm hmm. And then uh, yeah. I just ended up not going with any of them. <laughs> and then you ended up, like, throwing the whole thing away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks very much for being the first uh, interview in this blog, and uh, maybe we'll talk to you more later. Thank you. All right.